it's never been easier to get yourself in front of an audience online and in real time than it is today. With better high-speed internet connections, incredibly user-friendly social media platforms, and immediate access to webcams, just about anybody can start a live stream. But what if you want the production quality of your live stream to stand out above the rest? Well, I'm Chris Soganek from Nikon, and I'd like to share with you some of my tips for elevating your live streams using your Nikon camera. Now, we've never used or needed streaming services as much as we do right now. So if you already have a lot of the needed gear anyways, why not go to the extra step and create the best possible live stream that you can? You can elevate the quality of your live streaming and video conferencing by using your compatible Nikon camera instead of your computer's built-in webcam. Often these webcams use very small sensors so they can create noisy or grainy videos. They have plastic lenses and to be honest, they can get dirty really easily. As you can see here, there's actually a huge difference between what my monitor is capable of uh, capturing and what my Nikon mirrorless Z camera can do. And with so many different Nikkor lenses to choose from, not only can you get the look that's right from you, but you can also get creative with your live streaming as well. You can use a wider aperture to blur the busy background, just like I have here, where I'm actually using a really fast f1.8 aperture. Now, a shallow depth of field will help bring a sharpness to your video that really kind of makes your subject jump out in a way that a webcam never would. I'm using a moderate focal length of 50 millimeters, which helps kind of compress that background a little bit. But if you want to show off more of your environment, you can easily use a wide angle lens too. You can use the various picture control settings to customize the look of your live feed to offer a little bit of variety and originality. Now, you can easily switch between landscape, flat, or any of the creative picture controls such as dream, morning, pop, and many, many more. Let me go through what you will need to get started. First, a Nikon Z50, Z6, or Z7 mirrorless camera, or a compatible Nikon DSLR camera. A fully charged battery for your camera, or a compatible Nikon AC adapter, like I'm using here. And while not necessary, here are a few things that can help in your overall live video production. A tripod. This can be a full-size tripod, or even a small tabletop one. It'll help lock in your framing and keep the camera at eye level, which is really the natural way that you want to engage in a live feed. Constant light source. Now, while many prefer the use of LED light panels, the type of light you use can be anything you have available. While I do get lots of natural light here in my kitchen, if I didn't use my kitchen lights, you can see the heavy shadows actually appear on my face. So don't be afraid to use existing lights to add a little bit of fill. Let's look at if you want to connect your camera directly to your computer using a USB cable. This is usually for casual users who are just trying to get a feed from their camera to their computer without any additional hardware. There are a few third-party software options that can accommodate some cameras through a simple USB connection. Just beware that performance may vary, so be sure to check the software specifications for further details. But what if you want to stream with the highest resolution possible, or you want to connect using your HDMI output? This is generally for more advanced users and will require an HDMI signal video capture device. This is essentially an external video card that connects to your computer. And this is not to be confused with. You have to make sure that it's not confused with the basic HDMI to USB adapter such as I have here. Now, using one of the more advanced capture devices can allow you to have the highest resolution feed from your camera. And because the HDMI signal delivers both video and audio in a single cable, it can be a really efficient way to get both video and audio signals from your camera to your computer. There are a variety of HDMI video signal capture devices available on the market, and they range in price from around $150 to $300, and they're from a selection of different manufacturers. Here are a few of the popular devices that you can find online. On the software side, let's look at some of the compatible video conferencing or streaming software that you'll need. The software you pick will depend on what type of computer you use, as some software is made for Macs and others specifically for Windows. The requirement for the use of an HDMI video capture device will be dependent upon both the software and operating system you're using, 
as well as your camera's compatibility with that software. Some of the popular video streaming software you can look into are SparkleCam for Windows, which can use a direct USB connection, CamTwist for Mac, which must use an HDMI capture device, Ecamm Live for Mac, which can use both USB and or HDMI, whichever you choose, and OBS for Windows and Mac. Now, this will require an HDMI connection. I really hope that this information on what you'll need from the software and hardware side of things will help you get the most out of your Nikon camera and your live streaming broadcasts. <music>